Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video it's going to be something really really short, sweet, and simple and that is how I edit my Instagram pictures or how I edit photos that I take for references or for my art in general. So I am just going to, this is going to be a really short intro and um, yeah, I don't really know how much I, I already kind of filmed that part so yeah. Also, I want to say major, major, major thanks to the much recent love on my one of my most recent shorts I've done. It's really, really cool how something I did could get that many likes or anything or views. And it might not be a lot to most, but to me it's a lot. And I really, really want to say thank you for that. And I hope you enjoy more of my content. See you in the next one. Hello, guys. Okay, so now I'm in the process of editing picture that I've taken of myself. As you can see here, out of all the references I choose, I narrowed down to one or two. This one and this one were my two favorites. Now, for the sake of this video not being too long, I will only be editing this one picture. So, I personally love to use Polisher, which is a really cool editing app that I have on my phone, and I think it's a really, really cool, easy to use, free editing picture thingy, I don't know. So, as you can see here, I have my reference. So now, the first thing that I immediately always will do is I will go to adjust and I will go to curve. Now, curve, what this does, this basically can darken and give more, I think, life back into the picture. Because in certain situations, I can turn really pale with my skin sometimes, which is not fun. So, I go to this curve tool and I go here to edit. Now, I really, really love how this work looks. Don't get me wrong. Like, look, you, especially if you see what it looks like, this gives it just a little bit more color into the photo, which is super, super fun. And I love how it looks. But you also have these that messes with the color. Now, I think I'm going to want to do something similar to this. Not this, because I really hate using yellow. We're going to go into it blue. We're going to mess around. This, I think, will make it really dramatic, but I really want it to be not as dramatic, I think. So we're going to go to the bluey skin tone, which is really, really, I think, fun, because I really love using blue. It's such a beautiful color. Now, next, I'm going to go to brightness. I'm just going to lightly brighten it up. And contrast, depending on what you like. Personally, I think this would be a good enough thing for a contrast. Highlight, since you already did a lot of that, you don't need to go crazy in this. And shadow, this just brings out the deepest shadows. If I did this, this would be super, super, I think, cool looking. But I don't really want to go for that for this video. So we're going to go for this, just a little bit. Tint, this basically just adds the colors to it. And what I sometimes like to do is I like to go to this and sharpen it just enough so you can get more of a visual for it. So, yeah. And then there's not really anything filter-wise that I really like. So, for this specific thing, this one I just go with basic editing. Now, the next thing I go is to beautify. Now, this is just personal, personal preference is I don't like my acne, and if I can see a blemish, I usually will go through, and if I can see an immediate blemish, then I will try to cover it. Now, for example, we're just going to try finding one random one. Um, but since I'm covering most of my face, there's not really one to see, but it does initially work, so, yeah. And also, for the what I also like to do is I like to reshape my face sometimes, but for this, I don't really think it's necessary. This is actually a really good picture. I really love how it looks already. So, yeah, I don't really think I need to reshape this. And that's personally how I make my own reference photos and how I also make my Instagrammable photos. I really love going to this in this app to use the, what it's giving me because I think it's just really what I need and more so yeah i think this is a beautiful beautiful picture it was a beautiful picture to begin with and this is just a really good app that i highly 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 recommend if you're getting into you know 
photography, editing, and or just you wanted something nicer to edit your Instagram pictures. So yeah, that's my thing.